In this video, we are going to talk about the myocardial response to ischemia. Myocardial ischemia is basically an imbalance between the oxygen demand of the myocytes and the coronary blood supply when the oxygen demand of the myocytes increased due to a particular reason. The myocardium is composed of myocytes which generate energy exclusively through oxidative phosphorylation. The coronary artery is the artery that supplies oxygenated blood to the heart and the coronary sinus is the vein that drains deoxygenated blood from the heart. Let's take a brief look at the anatomy of the blood supply to the heart. The ascending aorta divides into two main branches, the right coronary artery and the left main coronary artery which divides into the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery. During times of physical exertion like running, there is an extra surge of sympathetic activity to myocytes which lead to an increase in the heart rate, contractility and ultimately a several fold increase in the myocardial oxygen demand which leaves your heart in dire need for more oxygen. Help! The only way to meet that demand? Yes, you guessed it. It's to increase the blood flow to the heart. To do this, the coronary artery has to dilate. The coronary endothelial cells produce nitric oxide, a gaseous molecule that promotes coronary vascular dilation. This nitric oxide increases the cyclic GMP concentration inside the arterial smooth muscle cells. This cyclic GMP is a very potent vasodilator. On the other hand, the degradation of ATP or adenosine triphosphate produces adenosine. It's a chemical that's present in all human cells and most importantly, it is another potent vasodilator. Both of these mechanisms result in the vasodilation of the coronary artery and the restoration of oxygen to the myocytes. This process which keeps the coronary blood flow constant across a range of blood pressures by coronary vasodilation is known as autoregulation.